Hello and welcome back to another video here on the channel where we talk about all kinds of fun stuff. So today I want to revisit the emergency fund and the bucket list in Ally Bank specifically because it looks like the bucket system is now working on the desktop version of the application, which it wasn't when I first started the video a few weeks prior when I got early access. I don't know if other people have access to the bucket system yet in Ally. So for those who have Ally Bank who've been watching these videos, please leave me a comment below and let me know if you have access to the bucket system yet, as I'm curious to see if it is global accessible to all or if it's still an early access type thing. So let's go ahead and transition the uh, scene here over to the desktop with me out here in the corner. And just like that, you see that Ally Bank now has the bucket system on the desktop. Of course, it does as well have it on the iPhone. You guys probably remember this from last time. We have our bucket. The emergency fund is what we're trying to build. We want this up to be about 18 grand. So until we get this to 18 grand, we pretty much have nothing in all of our other buckets currently. But that all to be said, we're gonna go ahead and switch on back over to the desktop. And voila, you can see the emergency fund and our buckets below, as well as what transfers are going on, etc. So this is really cool. One thing I found interesting with the new bucket system is they kind of give you this potential balance opportunity that your bank could have, depending on what simple reoccurring things you did that the bank will do for you automatically. You just set it up and let it go. And so I decided to take a look. I know that uh, my wife and I really want to buy a home. And so we thought, okay, we need to save up a down payment. And let's say we wanted to do 20% of um, $250,000 house, so that's $50,000. Or let's say we wanted to do 10% just to make it a lower number and make it a little easier. That means we needed to have $25,000 saved up. Well, it's really interesting here that you can use this reoccurring transfer and surprise savings functions in the bucket system, which you see right here to my right over here. I guess it's technically left because you're looking at me, but it is my right. And if you do just a reoccurring transfer of $200 a month, and you allow for Ally to find surprise savings, is what they call it. They look through your accounts and they look through your spending habits and they say, if we can find an opportunity to transfer some money to save because it's extra or you're just not spending it, they'll do so with an average of about $100 a month. So if you combine those two, $300 a month roughly at a 1.6% current interest rate, you'll have roughly $15,000 or so. And what's really cool is you can turn this off and you can see what the different values are. So currently, if we keep up with our current account, we'll have $4,180 in three years, which is the interest rate of you know our current $3,900 over the course of three years. But this is really cool that you can do this and kind of see the math. So if you want to do $500 a month, some of you may be able to afford $500 a month. And all of a sudden, look at that. $500 a month plus the interest rate which would get you $22,000 in three years. And what's crazy is three years is not that long of a period of time. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, $22,000 is crazy. You could save up to buy a brand new car in three years with no payments if you just let Ally automatically withdraw $500 a month into your savings account and you would never owe anyone a penny in payments. How amazing does that sound? No payments, not paying anyone any interest whatsoever, owning something outright, all this could be done automatically, especially for you who have a strong income of let's say $100,000 a year or more, even $70,000 a year or more. Really, this could be done very easily. And if you do the surprise savings of an extra 100, why not have $26,000 in three years? So a cool feature that comes with the bucket system. Of course, you then have your buckets just like we went over before. It's a little bit different here on the computer with the distribute uh, option here, distribute, if I could speak the right words trying to come out of my mouth. Uh, you have those features here so we can obviously split the money up between the different accounts so I could put that to zero and say we want, you know, 200 and 200 and 1,000. Nope, I forgot the one. 1,000, 200, and see at the bottom, oh, 2,000. See at the bottom it tells you how much you have uh, just distri dis distributed. I can't talk, distributed to the different accounts. Um, I wish it showed you what you have remaining to put between the accounts. Uh, oh, it does. Right there. The remaining amount is in the core savings. Sometimes you just have to open your eyes and you'll see it right there in front of your face. 
So that's the way you can kind of distribute, dis distribute. I'll never be able to say that word. You guys can leave comments below and laugh at me because I can't say the word distribute to the different accounts or buckets in the bucket system, as I should say, because that's what they are. So it's really cool that the feature is now on desktop. I know I had a few of you ask in the comments of the previous video if it was on desktop or not. And uh, it is on the desktop. It gives you some performance information on how your account's going up or down. Uh, so that's really interesting as well. The one hiccup, and I know we uh, talked about this in a few other videos, is that unfortunately the buckets do not link into most uh, into most budgeting apps because when you're linking an account with a budget app, it takes the actual account and the account number to link. And so even though you have these buckets that you can view and ally, it's still under one account number. And since it is, it won't actually show your buckets in any kind of budgeting tool. So if you want to use a budgeting tool like YNAB and you prefer to have separate accounts for each fund that you're doing, whether it's a car fund or a house fund, et cetera, you would still have to have separate accounts, unfortunately. And that is kind of a, a downside, but it's it makes sense. You have to have account numbers. So like here we have three account numbers and those three numbers could then go towards different funds in your budgeting tool. So depending on how you function, the bucket system may not work perfectly for you, but if you just like to have one account and you can just separate the money and keep saving and saving and saving, this is amazing for that. And the reality is in your budgeting tool, you can actually just create the separate buckets and have all the money in here. And then you just know that it's split up in that way. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. Very cool, very exciting. I'm really happy to see this feature. And again, let me know in the comments below if you have access to this feature yet. I'm curious if this has been released globally to everyone yet or not. Uh, I do feel lucky and blessed that I got early access to it so that I could share with you guys. But I'm curious to see if that has happened yet. So let me know in the comments below. Again, leave a like if you're enjoying these videos. Go log in on the desktop version. See if you have access to this on the desktop version. Uh, as you can tell, this is definitely something that they're pushing forward with. So it's good news. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by, watching this video here today. Uh, and I hope to see you guys again in another video. Peace out.